heel drops, beginner strength exercise. As with all your exercises, and especially um, important with your heel drops, you want to maintain your best postural alignment. And so your feet are going to be hip width apart, knees ever so slightly bent or unlocked. And then you want to keep your um, back of your, your ear over your shoulder, tummy muscles engaged or recruited, and holding a, a surface in front of you so that you um, ensure that you have good balance. You're going to lift yourself onto your, the balls of your feet, so onto your toes and the balls of your feet, and then with the heel drops, you're literally dropping back. And depending on your fracture risk as to how high hard you want to drop. So if you're at a low fracture risk, you can go for it and drop really hard. And if you're at a moderate fracture risk, you might want to drop moderately hard. And at a high fracture risk, drop a little bit more gently. And so a high um, velocity drop would look like this, where there's a lot of uh, pounding. And uh, when they looked at a study, where they actually put force conducers in the hip, it was like three times the body weight. So it's a very forceful breath. And now, if you don't want to drop quite so hard, you can come up and let your muscles take some of that force. And if you want to get the benefits of strengthening your calf muscles, but without the pounding through the skeleton, then just come down gently. And that's it for the heel drops.